Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Interstication. After a few video about the MZ8 and uh, the Amy, the Amy videos of um, this year will come out soon after I finish this recording as well. We'll come back to 2021 and, uh, 2021 for AMC 10B number 16. So this is where we left off last time and we'll pick right back up. It says, five balls are arranged around a circle. It chooses two adjacent balls. So if we draw that, two adjacent balls, for example, let's choose the, this and this, and interchanges them. Then Silva does the same, with her choice of adjacent balls to interchange being independent. So um, let's say I could choose the same ball as well. Or I could choose a different ball. Well, let's say if we choose this, then what is the expected number of balls that will occupy their original positions? Well, the first one, the first choice, doesn't really matter to us because however we do, we can rotate it for it to look exactly the same. So let's say the first one looks like this. Now, there is a one-fifth chance that he would choose the same pair and basically flip them back. So our expected value is five. There is two-fifth chance. So you can choose this or this. Then if you choose either of those, you would get this. Um, this would switch to this. And this would switch back. So let's, if we number them, one, two, three, four, five. After switching, we would get two, one, three, four, five. And if we switch those, we would get indeed two, three, one, four, five. And if we compare that to our original one, these three all changed their positions. So our, um, term here would be two fifth multiplied by uh, two because the five four doesn't change. Now, if he chooses some number that completely does not uh, relate to the pair that the first person chose or Chris chose, then we would have all four of the balls changing places. So we have one left. So two over five multiplied by one. Now, that is equal to 1, that is equal to uh, 4 fifth, that is equal to 2 fifth. If we add them up, we get 1 plus uh, 6 or 5. And unfortunately, it asks for a decimal number, which I don't really like. But if you convert this to decimal number, you get 2.2, .2, which gives our answer of D. Thank you for watching this episode of Interstication. I hope you catch you in the next one. Goodbye.